Hey Capricorn, how's it going? I hope everybody's having a great day. This is going to be what is coming towards you in terms of love from now until the end of 2023. So within the next eight weeks, roughly. Take what resonates. Make sure you're he um, heading over and watching your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings for additional clarity. And this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement. All right. What is still meant to approach your life in terms of love for the rest of 2023? What is it that Spirit wants to bring to your attention in terms of your love life? All right. Um... Scorpio got this got this energy, got this card. See how she's almost becoming one with the tree, needing to become grounded. Really needing to focus on your inner core and strength. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunity and possibilities for your life. It's manifesting and transitioning the way you think. No matter what your situation is, Capricorn manifesting from a place of attitude is gratitude. I know it's hard. Believe me, day to day, life, um, heartbreak, letdowns, broken promises, it sucks. But it's a part of life. So really putting out there that you're grateful for the love that's ready to enter your life. You're grateful for the lessons that you've learned up until this point. Really transitioning the way you think to close out any negative thinking or any negative cycles so that you can embark on something that is a positive, brand new positive cycle starting for you in terms of love. All right. For my Capricorn spirit most important messages that you have to close out. This could be the one just flipped over. Amazing. You, you've you already met the romantic partner you seek. Who is this Capricorn? You could be in separation. You could be wondering where this is going. Um, it could be someone that you've met and, is, you know, up until this point, it's could be a friend, could be an acquaintance, but you know this person on some level. Letting go of any resentment or any negative thinking that might have happened with this person for some of you. Let's see. Spirit, Capricorn's energy in the present in terms of love and romance. Let me make sure nothing else flipped over. Yeah, no, okay. Whoa. Emperor. So you may have Aries in your chart. Um, you may be interested in an Aries, divine masculine energy. Now we both, we all have feminine and masculine traits within each and every one of us. But you're ready. You know, you have taken back control of your life. You know, I feel some of you could still be in the process of healing, but you're manifesting what you want, what you want for the future in terms of love. I feel like you're being very practical about your love life, very strategic. You've worked hard to be in this energy, Capricorn. I love it. Spirit, the energy of the person coming towards Capricorn, Princess of Swords. You may meet this person online if you're dating online using a dating app. Um, you may connect with this person through social media or the internet some, some way. It may be very possible, Capricorn, that you're putting yourself out there and dating, and it's through one of these options that this person is the person you're going to, like, 
move it, you know, carry on into 2024. What is going to be the overall outcome? We have quite a few here. Four. We're going to take them. Justice. Higher level of commitment. One that's fair and balanced. Yeah, I've I got to say Capricorn. I feel like someone wants to come towards you and make you make it right. They want to heal this connection with you. I feel that they're missing you. I feel that they now see this as a missed opportunity and they want to come towards you and make it right. Balance the scales out. Heal with you. We have Sagittarius energy here. We have water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra energy. And then we have Aries, but it also could be Gemini, Aquarius. Leo at the bottom of the deck with the sun. I feel like happiness is just around the corner for you. Feeling emotional fulfillment with this connection that's about to embark on your path. And I just saw 111. Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords. I really feel someone is thinking about you day and night. Capricorn, you're about to reap the rewards of your harvest. A brand new cycle is starting. And it's definitely going to be magical. You see here, this is the energy you do not want to be in. You do not want to feel trapped. You do not want to feel like, you know, you want to pull yourself out of watching, waiting, wondering why things happen this way. Feel, you know, stuck within your thoughts. If this is the energy that you find yourself in, you don't want to manifest from this energy. That's what is going to continue to be a cycle within your life. You want to pull yourself out of this energy. And you still got some time. We've got still, we have eight weeks. You can turn it around. Every day, do the best you can to transition your thoughts. Exactly what this is saying to you. There's someone that you already know that's meant to be in your life. But you want to bring this person in, in a positive mindset. Because it's got the potential to be magical. All right. Yeah, they want to offer love. Again, balance. Could even be, this could be the one. This could even be the partner that it's like you're, you're ride or die. The one you're, you end up being with for the rest of your life. They are definitely watching you. You spark something within them and they cannot shake this connection with you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here twice? Yeah, see? You're working on yourself. You're focused on your own stability. Has it been hard for you? Especially if you've been through tough times like... Things that you felt like were a tower moment, yeah, it's been tough. But it's through the, that 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 those difficulties that you become so strong. What's that saying? You really don't know how strong you are until you're tested. Exactly. And now it's you're reaping the rewards of your hard labor. You have sparked something within this person. They are watching you from afar. And they're going to come forward within the next eight weeks. For those of you that you're on a deeper level with this person, like maybe a breakup, a hard fight, a separation, they're coming towards you with an apology, with a confession. They're definitely thinking a lot about you. All right, let's see what else. For Capricorn and what is coming towards my Capricorns in terms of love. 
definitely a fire energy here. But, yeah, let's see, I was just about to say that. Considering it's the fire energy, it's like passion, chemistry, feelings, and emotions are about to be expressed. All right, let's see. The message spirit for Capricorns closing out their love life for 2023. All right, Archangel Barbeel, Angel of Compassion. Follow your intuition, it says. I, I aid ascension through transformational soul healing and alignment with your higher purpose. Change is coming. We have Scorpio energy here. I really feel for some of you, it's a soulmate. But there is about to be a miracle. Call on me when you need an impossible miracle. And I will set a series of events into motion to bring this about. Guys, get ready. Something big is coming your way in terms of your love life. I'm going to do a positive affirmation. You know, I, I've asked my other signs to say it to yourself. Um, every day from now until the end of 2023, it's going to take me maybe 10 seconds to read it to you. It'll take you that short of time. My thoughts are creative. Remember, getting rid of any unwanted thoughts. Spirit is on point, Capricorn. I say out, I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me. For I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. Your thoughts, your affirmations are bringing this person to you. To close out 2023. J. I. O. A. H. E. S U. Let me just get a couple more because every literally every vowel has come out, which gives us not many. B F C P N. I just realized I was screaming. My robot, my vacuum's running, and I feel like I gotta talk over her. And I her because I named her Rosie from the Jetsons. Don't ask. All right, guys, leave a <clears throat> leaf emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view for the remaining of November. Um, any of you would like me to tune into just your energy to bring you your own personal guidance? The link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. It is open. It is restocked. And I hope so much happiness in terms of love finds its way on your path. For the remaining of 2023 to start a brand new cycle in 2024. Alright, love and light guys.